it's deeply disturbing the the fact that um, people who have no real um, their their inclinations are not so much in uh, protecting children, adolescents, and young adults from harm as it is rolling the clock back on any sort of diversity. And uh, uh, emboldened by uh, uh, the this, this shift in the Supreme Court here in the US uh, and some of the victories they've had in um, reversing some of the, the gains in women's rights as far as reproductive health care, um, they're, they're using that leverage now to go after things and uh, you know trans is the trans is the easy target um, and uh, again having really no special interest in the the well-being of people or understanding the struggles that that gender diverse people have in uh, in their own lives in facing discrimination in getting employment in dealing with families um, over avoiding violence um, but also accessing healthcare. Um, these these kinds of things are really really disturbing. Um, fortunately, the states you've mentioned right now, those those laws have been deflected. But um, but uh, it's it's very troubling that that uh, bills that were designed to protect uh, young girls from being uh, cut uh, by way of FGC. Uh, the idea they're they're translating that to the I, the notion that you know that we're somehow um, that providers of of gender affirming care are somehow uh, hurting or affecting uh, these young persons.